So, Brendan, you wanted to ask um, about the, the women commentators and how it's well, in football I, now. I, 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 one, my, my biggest, most important question in this whole interview, Al, yeah. for me, yeah. is I was brought up in, in the 70s and 80s in the era of football commentators and sort of male panels where football was about, it was a bloke's thing. And I'm not knocking the, the new way of presenting football and sports with women presenters and all that. For the new era, it's probably fine. But I'm saying if you can have a retro radio station and a, a, like a 90s channel and an 80s music and all that, can't we have a, a sort of retro football channel where we have the older pundits and a, and a lot of the, it's like a lads banter channel more than, I can't relate to one of these ladies talking about football because I've never watched her play. And I've never had no interest in, in the women's football. I'm not disrespecting it, I'm just being 100% honest. And if we're in this new world of freedom where everyone has to be looked after, why can't we have our own sort of retro channel? Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, do, do you like the women commentators and stuff like that? How do you feel about all that? No, 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 I don't. I don't. I, I actually turn it over. I don't turn it off. It, it disgusts me, really. Um, <laughs> You know, because I, I, I've always thought I'm. I, I think I know. I think when we spoke about this the other week, I said about the tennis. You know. Yeah, it's uh, a good point actually. Yeah. You know, I, I love I love all sports, but I love tennis. I yeah. tennis, cricket, but tennis. I love I love the tennis, and I, I admired Billie Jean King. You know, and she took over. She took women's tennis to a new level. Mm -hmm. She got them fair pay, equality, everything else. But there's one thing she never done, and which I admired her so much, is she never poked her nose into the, the men's game. Mm -hmm. She never, you know, it was a separate entity. Yeah. Uh, I know she was a lesbian and whatever, but it's, fair it's no good, harm in that. Good, good luck to yeah, her, yeah, 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 but she was fantastic at what she'd done, and, and fantastic for the sport, but she mm -hmm. never ever poked, and, and I don't know why the women now want to do that. I don't really see... Well, I don't know whether they want to do it. I think they're pushed into it now, this new sort of woke generation of presenting where we've got to have male women and we've got to have, have all sorts of presenting, but... Well, it's like, you know, we... You can say, why is Micah Richards the main man on television <laughs> now? Because it is... Well, I, I mean, I, I ain't got no problem with that. I've, he's a bloke at the end of the day, so he wins my vote there, do you know <laughs> what I mean? Um, and I, I mean, I'm a big fan. Of my favourites, I suppose, from the, the early era of the punditry would have been John Barnes, Ian Wright. You know, well, John Barnes, John Barnes is a credit to the profession. I mean, he's he one of the all-time great yeah. players, yeah, you yeah. know, and he was, he was actually ball boy that night in... Kingston. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he told me that. Who, who yeah. would be your favourite pundits then? If, if you had a dream four that you were going to have in, would you have like Brian Clough or Malcolm Allison or who would you have? Well, there's, I, I think um, we have a problem in this country now, don't we, where there's, there's not many. I, know, I can't stand egomaniacs, you know, the, the, the egos. I think. The, the days are gone of the, the great managers, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. All the great managers didn't want to sit on the line, did they? You know, it's since Sky TV come on, so much television, they all want to sit on the line and all. You can't even see from the touchline. <laughs> you can't see that. No. You've got yeah. to see upstairs. The yeah. first thing I was going to do, because I was often, was going to get the Stoke job at one stage, to answer your question, really, I think it's sort of like a beauty. They they, they see it as a beauty show. Yeah. You know, they're all going. Um, you know, this this main one has yeah. turned up. You know, she's talking about football as if. You know. Well, I mean, I, I I struggle with it, and I know that so many other blokes, even younger than me, a lot younger than me, are all going. Well, hang on, football was about us go watching. Well, you always say, like, you know, it's. Uh, what would you do? You can't really say to a, a, a girl, what would you do if you got kicked up the bollocks? You know? <laughs> no answer, is uh, and and it's all part of the game, yeah, it isn't is. it? Yeah. It is all part of the game, you know? And I, I've done a radio show one, uh, at, in, up in Stoke one day and, and they nearly switched me off because I said they talk about women's football. 
and I said, well, I don't agree with certain things about women's football. And there was murders. <laughs> I said about chesting the ball, you know. He said, women go, go and have tests for breast cancer, you know. What's all this about? And they're bringing the ball down and all, you know, this kind of brings a new light to things, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they fucking need that switch off. You shouldn't be saying things like, well, why not? You know, absolutely. It's 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 a, it's a this is well, a man, know, this is a man's game. It is a man's game, but you know, you know a couple of tits like that could give him direction on chess. Uh, uh, on that point, like oh. that. <laughs> on that point, <laughs> draw the one the one thing before we go though. Yeah, that yeah because really we we, say, uh, we also want to bring on our special guest. Yeah. We have a special guest. We have we have to pay tribute, right? Yeah. In the passing of Sir Dicky Davis yeah. and Johnny Mutson. Yes. Yeah, two of like the iconic <laughs> figures of the 70s. Do you know what I mean? I, I actually love both of them. Yeah. And they both this passed emotional, away. Folks. Both passed away. So yeah. just a big shout for them, really. Yeah. So we do want to thank yeah. the legend that is uh, Alan Hudson. Fantastic stories.